Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from eLearning Portal. In our previous video, I showed you how to add your logo, as well as how to add the banner image, or the sliders, as well as the captions and the description of the sliders. And we've added three sliders um, in our headers section. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how to edit or modify the footer section. Okay. So let's jump right in. Click on Site Administration. And then again, go to Appearance. Scroll down and click on Academy. Because this is our theme. Now just to orientate yourself, uh, we've added, we've modified the General tab, as well as the Slideshow. So the next tab will be the footer section. Okay, so here you'll see uh, we have a footer logo already enabled. So if you don't enable this and you click save now, you'll see this will disappear. If you scroll down now, you'll see it will remove the footer logo. So my suggestion is that you keep this enabled. Okay, so now the footer note, this text here, is actually the text here. Okay, so we can modify this text by removing it. So we can either remove only this and then leave the link there, or we can move the link altogether. Okay, so I'm just typing some information there. This is a platform. Yeah, you can access online courses and receive online training. So, just for the purpose of this um, tutorial, let's just spell receive correct. Okay, let's remove this link. We can add a link later on uh, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So that's our footer note. If we save it now, let's click save, it will replace this text here. Okay, so let's scroll down. So you'll see there. Okay, so, and I want the year to be just underneath this. Okay, so year you can access. Okay, so let's do that. So click on footer. Again, you'll see that it's year. If I click, if I just press enter here and then save it. You scroll down you'll see it ends up there okay or I can use some custom HTML so I'll place it there click on the expand button and then click on the HTML tag you'll see there this is our e-learning platform and then it starts with here all we need to do now is add a break there so it's um, open brackets so it's just to br within closing brackets okay so then click on save and then when you see now it also adds it to um you'll see it just re uh, moves it down one line okay and that's more like it uh, i also want to just the and just there underneath okay so let's do that from and Okay, so let's go to HTML and there from and okay, so we'll just add in some a break there. Okay, click on save. Okay, so now it's nice and neat, just underneath our logo. Okay. Now we're going to change this uh, underneath the info and you'll see when we click on footer if We scroll down. You'll see there's all our links. Okay. Now these custom links can also end up here okay? um, So we can either remove this all all together or we can replace these with our own links uh, so we can actually add pages uh, and then link it to that particular pages. Okay, so for now, I'll remove that. Scroll down, and now we're on the copyright section, and the copyright section is this area here. 
okay so let's do the copyright section so it's now 2022 okay and we'll remove that developed by and then that okay so i'll remove that everything there and i'll leave it on copyright 2022 okay now we can add my address here so i can add one two three street name Oops. street name and maybe a street code um yeah okay then i can add my email address admin at e-learning portal dot education okay and then i can add a telephone number let's do the Let's leave that there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Then my Facebook. I can add my Facebook link in there. I leave it as is. I can add a Pinterest link. <coughs> I can add a Pinterest link if I have Pinterest. And a Pinterest account, I can add a Twitter link or handle, I can add my Google Plus. Okay, so I'll leave that out for now, and you will see immediately when I remove those, it will also be removed down here. Okay, let's click on Save Changes. If we scroll down now, you'll see it's only my street name my phone number, my email address, follow us on Facebook, and this section here is completely removed. And we'll add this section as soon as we've created some pages. Okay, and this is how easy it is to actually uh, modify the banner uh, area. And now we are ready to start setting up our courses. I really hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for further videos on my channel.